Sanzibi. Oh, good. You're very stressed and screaming at me, and I do not appreciate that, Tom Holland. I just want you to feel our baby. I'm interested to see what this baby's going to be. What is happening? Clinton Reardon just walked off the lot? Oh, my God. I need to get this baby happening. There's no one even at the front desk anymore. I can't even check in at the front desk. YouTube. My name is Cezro and welcome back to the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge where all of the fathers in this gameplay are currently my favorite celebrities but are very soon going to be your favorite celebrities too. The last episode of the 100 Baby Challenge was a shambles. It was all over the place. So much happened and I was very stressed for the entire episode. We had Sarah's first love, her elderly soulmate Dan Smith, the singer of Bastille, die. He died on Christmas Day and then Christmas was cancelled and then the next day I wanted to have Christmas as well as Brody and Alex's birthday aging them up into teenagers and then something happened in the game and like the game was bugged or something and none of the kids that uh, don't currently live in my household would leave for 18 hours and I don't, didn't know what was happening. They were just eating my food and was complaining that they needed to go to the toilet but couldn't go to the toilet because everyone needed to go to the toilet and they were all standing in the bathroom together going, why can't I go to the toilet? And I was very stressed about that but I managed to fix the bug and get the kids out of my house and then we met the next dad in the series which is going to be Tom Holland. So we also aged up our triplet babies Ariella, Dale and Chloe into toddlers. But in this episode of the 100 Baby Challenge we have already met Tom Holland like I just mentioned. So we're going to get pregnant with his baby and we're going to give birth to his baby. At the moment we only have one vacancy in the house so it does mean we will only have one baby. But let's get into the game and find out where the kids are at and hopefully this episode is going to be a little bit calmer, a little bit more normal because I don't think I can handle another stress-filled episode like that. So there's currently a glitch happening. It's Friday at quarter to three and these three kids should be at school and it says that they're at school but here they are right here. I don't know if you see that and they're all going inside because they need to have some fun which fair enough because it's been very stressful over the last couple of days in this house but you should be at school. Why aren't you at school? But anyway, school's about to end anyway. But it is Friday afternoon. We met Tom Holland earlier this morning but I'm going to call him over right now because we need to get Pregan and Ant because Sarah's time is a wasting. We've got 20 days at the moment until she becomes an elder so I need to get Pregan and Ant again so let's invite to hang out at current lot. Okay the kids are home from school even though they were already home from school. We're going to get the boys a part-time job so that they can be earning some money for us. So Brody, he is a computer whiz. So we're probably going to get him to either do video gaming or programming. It's probably going to be video gaming because he needs to have some fun for his skill, which I know he's not going to have any skills. So we need to get that happening. And then for Alex, he, I mean, he wants to find his one true soulmate. So maybe we'll do charisma for him as his skill. Maybe that could be helpful again he's got no skills for our girl Willow she let no 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 way oh my god she's not even at level four yet so with this weekend we'll get her to level four and then we'll be able to hopefully age her up into a teenager on Monday she's gonna have to work damn hard for it but it might be doable we don't know I'm hoping so the toddlers they've all just become toddlers so yeah that's where we're at Sarah's not pregnant but she's gonna be all right Tom Holland is here I know he is there he is I'll kiss in the rain, do that, and then we're going to woohoo in the shower. Try for baby with Tom after that. Actually, I can't do woohoo in the shower because the teenage boys are about to give a couple of toddlers a bath, so we're gonna just do the old try for baby in the bed. We haven't done that in a couple of goes, so. <laughs> Would you like to have a baby, Tom? Hell yes. Let's go. He's running, he's so keen. He's like, yes, let's do this. So also something I should mention is this video is obviously coming after the Eco Lifestyle release and I do have Eco Lifestyle so you'll see down the bottom here we do have the Eco Footprint. We are currently neutral. I'm not really going to be following Eco Lifestyle. I'd like to get some solar panels but that's about the extent. Anyway, the time has come. Do 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 do. Are we eating 
eating for two. Are we having a baby? Please be eating for two. Please, 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 please. She's not pregnant. Okay, no, no, no. That's not happening, Tom Holland. Let's go again. <laughs> All right, let's try again. Are we eating for two? Are we having a baby? Yes, we're eating for two. Hell yes. Yes, Sarah. Pregnant and Nance. We love to see it. Go and tell Tom Holland the great news. Chloe is at level two of thinking. Good job, my love. Awesome, Tom. We're having a baby. Thank you. We're going to send you home now, which is one of the new things that came with the update. Instead of asking to leave, you can now send home, which says immediately sends this sim home. No questions asked, no hard feelings, which I love that for the 100 baby challenge because I always kind of feel bad of like getting pregnant with babies and then immediately sending the dad home. So go home. Bye, Tom. Thank you. Thank you, Tom Holland. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you, next bitch. All right, is everyone in a bit of a better mood now? It looks like it. That's good. So I'm also just going to take down the Christmas decorations because honestly, I need the reminders of the last episode to just go away. So we're going to put all the Christmas stuff back in the inventory, get it out of our lives for the time being. Hopefully next Winterfest will be a better Winterfest. Even to the point where we are just going to put up the New Year's decorations because I just need to not. There we go. All ready to celebrate a new year and get away from the grief of this year. The toddlers are starting to get tired. Chloe's going to go to sleep. I'm going to try and potty train Ariella though because I need to try and get some potty training happening for my triplet toddlers because I'm very stressed about it. <laughs> and then after Dale finishes eating, he's going to go to bed too. Wait, what is happening? Sarah's just walked away from Ariella on the potty. Like, what are you doing? I didn't know that that could happen. She's still going potty, though, which is interesting. Thank you, my son. Off you go to bed. I know you're very tired. The good thing about Dale as well, I'm pretty sure his personality, he's independent, which means he can just go potty whenever he wants. He doesn't need Sarah to teach him to go potty. He can just go. Love independent toddlers. They're amazing. <laughs> All right, Sarah's going to go to sleep too. Everyone's going to sleep. Good night, Platt family. Moments later. Oh my god, I didn't even see it, but I think Dan is here and he's possessed our shower and our bath. Dan, where are you? There he is. Oh, Dan. Oh, he's going upstairs. Oh my god. This is our first Dan visit and he's just breaking everything. Oh, Dan. I kind of want Sarah to wake up and go and see him and see what her reaction is to Ghost Dan. Her reaction is literally nothing about Ghost Dan. Let's have a chat to Ghost Dan. Brighten his day. Oh, cuddles. Oh, and now he's happy. Oh, that was adorable. Oh, even in the afterlife, they've still got it. Don't you dare. Don't you even think about possessing this and breaking it because I need it, Daniel. 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 Oh, you're just sitting there? That's fine. Okay, you're just sitting. That's fine. Right, Sarah's going to go back to sleep. <laughs> Please don't break too many more things because I need them. Don't break the toilet, Daniel. Please. I'm going to have to, like, make these unbreakable so that when Dan comes to possess us that he doesn't break the things. Daniel, you've already possessed that toilet. Okay, we're getting the teenage boys up. Oh, if that shower's broken, you're going to have to use this shower because Daniel has broken everything. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. And Sarah's awake now as well. You're going to have to go downstairs. I'm really sorry, honey. And then you're maybe going to have to look at fixing some things that your dead soulmate has broken. All right, boys. About ready to go to work. Have a great day. Thanks for making us some money. We'll work on your skills when you get home. Are you going to work? No, it is not a holiday. No, it's a holiday. They don't go to work on a holiday. Okay, no worries. That's fine. You'll still get paid for it, which is good. Chloe ate all of her food first go. I didn't have to tell her. Great job, my love. We're going to give you a bath, make you feel a little bit better. 
Oh, she just gave Sarah, like, the cutest look on her face. She's the cutest. I love her to pieces. $1,708 for our royalties. That fashion tips video, though. Hell yeah. Dale finished his breakfast as well without needing to go back again. Amazing. He's going to take himself to the potty because he's the best little toddler dude. I know Sarah has just fixed all of the plumbing, but I think what I'm actually going to do is give us the plumbing that we deserve because we deserve the best we've got the money to be able to afford it so i'm going to sell all of this crappy stuff and get us the plumbing that we are going to take with us everywhere and i'm going to oh my god another sink had just broken so it's like perfect timing the reason i'm doing this is because then i can upgrade all of this stuff to be unbreakable <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do i absolutely love these showers from get famous but not in that pattern i like the white the white is just super dang pretty in my opinion so that is the shower we are going to go with and then we're going to change the swatch of this bath to the white to match and then for the toilet we're going to go with where is it this one again in the pure white i like a clinical looking bathroom apparently maybe we'll go with this sink just because it's nice and white it's got a cute little storage thing underneath i mean it's not usable so then dan can feel free to come and haunt this house with no worries of him breaking every single thing now obviously i'm not going to be able to upgrade everything today i don't even know if sarah has enough uh handiness skill to be able to upgrade plumbing um, and we're hopefully gonna have some time to do it not right now though because I'm gonna need to potty train Chloe so we're gonna come downstairs we're gonna potty train Chloe and then we're gonna making some of this stuff unbreakable can we do it upgrade Oh, we can. Oh my god, they've put in new stuff. Hell yes, for eco lifestyle. That's awesome. I'll have to check that out later. But at the minute, we're just going to make it all unbreakable. <laughs> you are almost... Oh my god, Brody just made it to level 3, right as I was saying that. Amazing job. Dude, I'm so proud of you. Thanks, boys, for not going to work but still getting us money anyway. <laughs> Oh, is that? Oh, Willow, Chris Pine came over and Willow just came and chatted to her dad. That's so cute. Ah. It just broke. What do you mean the fridge just broke? What is happening? Get back there and read your damn book. Oh, my God. You know, we deserve a better fridge anyway, honestly. Let's get this fridge out and get a new fridge in. <laughs> That's just what I'm going to do from now on. If something breaks, we just get a new one. <laughs> Why do the browns not match? Why do the browns not match? We're just going to go with it because it's a nice fridge and I like that fridge. You made it. Great job. Both the teenage boys have made their skills. They're amazing. So, so far, Sarah's upgraded these two sinks and these two toilets. So, at least they won't be broken if Dan decides to pay a visit tonight. <laughs> and Chloe can now use the potty chair on her own. My toddlers are the freaking best. I love them so much. All right, it's time for Willow to go to sleep. Good night, Willow. Early the next morning. It's spring. And the boys go to work in an hour. And Sarah's in her cute outfit. I haven't seen this outfit in a long time. I love this outfit. Willow is awake. A beautiful spring morning. All the Todds are awake. Come and have some breakfast. Dale and Chloe are both on the potty because they're amazing. So Sarah is now third trimester in 11 hours. So she's second trimester. Willow is almost, or she's about almost halfway from level three to level four of mental. So that's what we're working on for you today is getting that ready for school tomorrow. And as for the Todds, we've got Chloe at level two of thinking and potty. She's almost at level three of thinking. So she'll get there today which is awesome. Dale's at level two of thinking, almost at level three. He's almost at level two of potty, level one at the rest. And Ariella is level two at thinking and movement and communication. She's level one potty, about to become level two potty sometime today though. So that's cool. I don't think we get money from the bin anymore. I just put a plate in there and didn't get any money. Although we did from trash. So maybe we don't get it from plates anymore. Just actual rubbish. See, I'll test it. So we're at 46,489 simoleons. Nah, we didn't get anything then. 
from the plate. So maybe it's only trash now that gives us simoleons from the bin. I mean, 10 simoleons is still, it's still something. 1,213. We just dropped 500 simoleons in one day. Wow. I mean, it's not an issue. We've clearly got enough money, but still. Um, something else I want to do, and I know it's probably not going to affect us very much, but we do have bills coming tomorrow. I want to get some solar panels for the house. I just want to see what happens with that because I haven't had any before. So these are the ones that go on the ground. I want some of the ones that go on the roof. Let's have a look. Let's go all the way up. And maybe some on the other side as well. I don't know how many solar panels we'll need, but maybe if I can just get some on each side of the house. And I don't know if I have to do anything further with them to make them go or if they just start going. I have no idea. We've got some solar panels now. So hopefully that'll reduce the cost in our bills. I don't know. I don't know. This is the first time I'm playing with any eco lifestyle. Dale's reached level three of thinking. Great job, my man. I'm going to get your communication up now. And Chloe has reached level 3 as well. Fantastic. Hey, no, Ariella, you have to learn how to go potty. We don't do that. So, parenting, discipline, recent behavior, firm, express disappointment for being defiant. Come on, do that thing. Hey, no, parenting, I crossed that out. And now I can't do it. Oh, that's so annoying. So that wasn't my fault that I wasn't able to do the parenting moment there. Ariella has reached level three of the thinking skill. Now you can go and babble at Bluffy as well. I only just realized that it's prank day. I hate prank day. It's probably my least favorite Sims holiday. It just sucks. <laughs> All right, toddlers are asleep. Teenagers are about to go to sleep. Willow's about to go to sleep Sunday night. Excited to bring on Monday tomorrow. Sarah's about to go to sleep as well. She is third trimester with the question marks, which is exciting times. She is super dang tired. Go to sleep. Everyone go to sleep. Let's bring on tomorrow. Finally, Monday has rolled back around. Let's get into it. I'm so excited. The following day. Alrighty, it is Monday morning. We've got the kids here eating, about to get ready to go to school. I'm just going to catch us up on where I ended up getting to. So all of these kids that you see on this screen right now, they are ready to go. They've got their skills, they've done their homework and their extra credit homework. They're ready to go. So, I mean, they're all pretty low down. So it's going to be a big fingers crossed on whether they're going to be able to make it to A students today. I would love for at least the boys to be able to make it to A students because then they could be aged up into young adults but also something else that is definitely going to be happening today is Sarah's going to give birth to Tom Holland's baby because she's got the question marks she's ready to go and then the toddlerinos where did I get them up to over the weekend well Ariella she is at level three in communication and thinking level two in potty and movement and level one in imagination Dale is at level three in communication and thinking level two in imagination and potty and level one in movement and Chloe is level three in communication and thinking, level two in potty, and level one in imagination and movement. So it's still going to be probably at least one more day for the toddlerinos. But something else I want to do as well while the kids are at school is I want to meet the next dad in the series, the last celebrity that is on my list. My last celebrity. After this, it's going to be all you guys. So I'm really excited to meet the last celebrity that is on my list and get prepared for when we're going to be able to get pregnant with his baby. Ah, oh, she's wearing the pretty floral dress in time for spring. It's beautiful. I love it. Toddlerinos are awake. Dale is awake and Chloe is awake. Let's get some food out so that they can be happy, chaps, because we do not like cranky toddlerinos. All right, kids are off to school. Right, working hard, everyone. Every single one of you working very hard today. You're all in really good moods. You've all got full fun. So please work super dang hard and make it today. I'm, I'm praying. I'm praying. I know Willow's probably not going to make it, but I'm hoping everyone else can. Right. Who is what and how? Okay. So we're going to get Dale dressed. We're going to get him working on some imagination. All right. We've got mail. So bills today. I'm excited to see. So bills have just been delivered to your mailbox. So lot taxes. 
$300. So that's interesting. So power, we're in credit, $46. So that's awesome. Our solar panels obviously came into effect there. That's so good. Water is $24 and other taxes. So because of the credit we got in our power that came off the lot taxes, all we owe is 278 simoleons. That's amazing. So you have 24 hours to pay before we shut your utilities off one by one. You can pay using your phone, computer, or the mailbox. We will definitely be doing that. I'm just going to get Sarah to do some tidying up and then we'll go and pay those bills. Oh my god. Oh no. Someone's died. Someone has died. Who has died? Oh my god. Who has died? Oh. Oh. Oh, Dr. Yamaguchi has passed away. Oh, okay. Well, that's... I mean, we knew she was an elder. We didn't have her last pregnancy, so had a feeling she was gonna go oh i thought it was gonna be like one of our kids then or another dad oh my god i mean sarah's still very sad obviously okay sarah's just quickly had something to eat now is the time we're gonna go and meet the next dad in the series but who is the next dad in the series? You may be wondering. Well, the last of my dads. We are currently in the trio of Toms. We have had Tom Hiddleston and Tom Holland. There is one more Tom. I'm super excited to tell you that the last dad on my list is Thomas Brody Sangster. <laughs> oh, yes. Thomas Brody Sangster. If you do not know who he is, he has been in multiple movies that I love. He's an actor. He has been in the Maze Runner series. He has been in other such classics as Love. Love Actually, which is one of my favorite movies to watch at Christmas. But I do have to say a very big thank you to Pink Petal 1998 for making this Thomas Brody Sangster sim. So let's go and pay him a visit, get to know him, and get prepared for him to be the next father in the series. And he has moved into a lot that we are familiar with. I'm, I'm kind of trying to use the same lots if I can, because there's only so few lots to use. So we are going to be going back to Charlie Puth's old house, because that is where Thomas Brody Sangster has moved into. So let's go there and pay him a visit, introduce ourselves, get to know him, have a little flirty flirt and get it going. So with that being said, it is two o'clock. So we only have an hour until the kids get home from school. We can only do a cheerful introduction because we are sad. Hello, Thomas Brody Sangstar. How are you? How are you? Okay, it's getting close to the kids getting home from school. I haven't looked since I last looked, so I don't know if the boys have made it today or not. I have a feeling they won't have but I'm going to surprise myself. Let's have a look at what's going on with the kids. Okay, Willow's a B student. I had a feeling that would be the case. That's totally fine. Brody's a B student and Alex is an A student. So Alex made it, but Brody did not. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to age the boys up today. But honestly, I think I'm kind of okay with that because in about two and a half hours, we're going to be giving birth to a baby. So I'm pretty fine with that. It means that in the next episode, we definitely will be able to age them up. Also gives me a little bit more time here to maybe get some flirting happening. Let's see if we can do some of that. We can't. It's like not even an option. Romance isn't there. Romance isn't there. Where is romance? I'm confused. Anyway, we're going to go home now. We've got a good relationship with Thomas Brody Sangster, friendship wise. So maybe next episode we'll be able to invite him over. Hopefully we'll be able to flirt with him because romance just wasn't showing up. All right, we are on baby watch. It's five o'clock in the afternoon. So we are waiting for this pacifier to flash. Oh my God, it's flashing. We won't have time for a nap. Oh my God, it's flashing the pacifier. Yes. Okay, Willow's just finished her homework. We're going to wait though, because Sarah's about to be leaving for the hospital. <laughs> It takes so long. Sarah has gone into labor. She's bursting with anticipation to meet her new bundle of joy. Have you finished eating that or what? What is happening here? I think that might be bugged. I'm not sure. But we are going to go to the hospital. Let's have baby at hospital. Let's join her. We're going to take Tom Holland with us so that we can hug him and invite him to feel the baby and all that good stuff. Hopefully he won't disappear because the last couple of dads have just ran away as soon as we got there. So, oh, I'm excited. What are we going to have? Just seeing this eco lifestyle Thing that I had no part of. Free love. Receive the most votes from the community and will take effect immediately. Does free love mean you can have like polyamorous relationships? Because I heard that that was a thing. I mean, it works for the 100 baby challenge. Maybe we won't get judged by Marley about having multiple different dads for kids. Tom Holland, I promise you, it's totally fine. You're freaking out. I know you are. Just please don't run away. <laughs> please don't run away. Don't you even think about it. I know you're tense. It's totally fine. See, it's all good. Sanzibi, you've got 
a bit You're of- very stressed and screaming at me, and I do not appreciate that, Tom Holland. I just want you to feel our baby. There we go. At least you've stopped screaming at us now. I mean, I know you're stressed, but trust me, Sarah is more stressed than you are. All right, let's go and check in at the front desk. Is that Osima is still here? I thought her ties to the physical world were disappearing. I don't know. So, I don't know. She's very tense as well. Maybe she knows that we're here. She's like, oh my god, Sarah's here. We need to get Doctor in on, on the pronto. So, this is our new doctor as well, Clinton Reardon. He was our doctor last time. So, I'm thinking he's going to be the new doctor, our third doctor of the 100 baby challenge <laughs> we are checked in so we know we're only having one baby but is it gonna be a boy or a girl i'm super excited to find out because i mean it could go either way we've got three boys in the house and three girls in the house children wise there's four girls in the house including sarah but i'm interested to see what this baby's gonna be what is happening clinton reardon just walked off the lot oh my god i need to get this baby happening there's no one even at the front desk anymore. I can't even check in at the front desk. I really don't want to miss out on this birth certificate. There's like no one though. Oh, I'm sad. I think we're going to have to have this baby at home and have to sacrifice the birth certificate, which is so annoying because we've just wasted all of this time at the hospital. You guys go eat. Sarah's going to go and give birth to a baby upstairs. We're going to come and do that. Go, go to the bassinet, Sarah. Off you go. You gotta do this one on your own. You've had lots of practice at the hospital. This is the first time doing it solo. Alright, now we're gonna find out. What are we gonna have? Is it gonna be a boy or a girl? What are we having? A beautiful baby of some kind. I might just have to debug a birth certificate because I don't want to miss out on that and it wasn't my fault that I'm missing out on a birth certificate. So, what are we having? It's a girl! Okie dokie, we've got another baby girl in the ranks. Let's find out what her name is gonna be. I kind of like Josie. Josie Platt. Fantastic. Welcome to the family, Josie. Oh, Sarah and Tom had a baby. A beautiful baby girl. Yay. Oh, why do we have a vampire at the door? We are going to no trespassing, disallow vampires. Thank you. Please leave. <laughs> Be careful, my Marley, please. That looks like some kind of seduction tactic happening there. My Mali is spoken for. She is with the beautiful Akira. <laughs> you love to see it. Boys helping out mum. Reading toddlerinos to bed. You love to see it. <laughs> And now the teenagers can head off to bed as well. Guys, that's actually where I'm going to end this episode of the 100 Baby Challenge. We had another baby girl. I'm super excited about that. But guys, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of the 100 Baby Challenge. If you would like to see more of it and my 100 Baby spin-off, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell next to it. And if you liked this video, let me know by hitting the like button down below and leave me a comment as well. Like I said, we've just met the last celebrity on my list. So after Thomas Brody Sangster, it's all up to you guys. And I've got a lot of requests already, but I'm still going to need a lot more requests. So please read the rules for your submissions in the description down below. But please give me your recommendations for celebrities that you would like to be fathers in my 100 baby challenge. But guys, I hope you're having the greatest day ever and I will see you in the next video. Bye!